Well, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to rainy Wednesday night service. Yeah, thank the Lord for the rain because we need it. Amen. All right, let's stand for prayer. Brother Steve Lord, open us in prayer, please. Dear Lord, thank you for this, this blessing of day that you've given yes, us. And thank you for Jesus. the rain. Yes, Lord. We know we needed the rain. Yes, and sometimes we don't like it too much, but we know we need it. Thank you for bringing us all here safe tonight. And, and be with us, be with Reverend Ledger as he brings our message tonight. And talk to us. Do something for us, dear Lord. And let's all, all just praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Rhonda's going to come forward and lead us a song. Page Thank you. 
are good choices, Sister Rhonda. Yeah. Well, this is a time if anybody has a praise report, a current one, and a current pressing testimony. I got one. You know, after I got out of the procedure, there was this rainstorm. I was sitting and waiting for the bus. People were putting up their umbrellas. It was a rainstorm just like this rainstorm. Uh -huh. And I was sitting there waiting for the bus. It was a long time uh, when people were complaining about the rain. It was a nice light, warm rain. Brother Ledger tonight as he brings the message for God's anointing to be upon him. I want to pray for him and Sister Ledger as they get ready to leave early in the morning to go to Brother yes. Newton's farewell, his homegoing celebration. Continue to pray for uh, our director over here, Brother Wooten, and all he has on his plate. I'm going to continue to pray for his children. And let's pray for Jerome. He got up early. He had Rajay last night. She got up at 5 o'clock. He might have fallen asleep <laughs> and uh, heard the rain and decided to stay. So let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to pray for the new guys that came in in dorm four, yes. that they'll make it through the week uh, without trouble, without sorrow, and that they will uh, come and help change their, the Lord will change their lives around here, and that they'll also be an asset to the mission also. Let's continue to pray for... The Lord to send in men that are backslidden Christians and people that haven't come to salvation yet. So let's pray for people to come in that the Lord can get a hold of them and that they'll let the Lord get a hold of them. You know? Does anybody have a... No, just to that point, with, uh, with what's going on around the world, with our cities and 
and the, you know, the battle and the spiritual battle, and it's a spiritual battle, I'll make no mistake about it, you know, and it's like, why is it happening? Why is all this happening? What does God want? And it just for me as a young Christian, there, there's a hundred billion things that the human conditions can come up with to try to devise, and it all comes down to he wants us to repent and turn away from our sin. And you have to come to him for that. I tried for 30 years and failed every time. <laughs> I mean, that day will never come. So, just like you just said, as far as him speaking to souls in this world, in our country, and administration, and really getting people to look at God, to look at Jesus, and to shift towards him and away from themselves. That's it. Yeah. I'd like to pray for Tiffany Lyons and her family. All right, let's stand for prayer, please. Brother Judd, pray for us, please. Father, heaven, we thank you again for a beautiful day. Father, we thank you for the rain and for the shine. Father, we're always here. It's all right here. Speaking to us, speaking to our heart, our mind, and our soul, and our spirit. Father, we're out of the rest of us. Oh, Jesus, we just ask you to come tonight. Father, we're going to run our path away. We're going to have these beers. We're going to have these beers. Father, we're going to have our hearts. We're going to have our minds. We're going to have our souls and our spirits. Father, just bring us up that understanding that we want us all. You want every soul in here to come into their inheritance. You want us to come into peace, and come into love, and come into joy, come into harmonious living, Father, to you for each other, to help others, to guide others, to help them ourselves. That's a slow process. It just takes a slow shifting, a slow death to ourselves. We need to be able to come into our spirit and be born in your love and your life. Just ask you to be in love with you. Speak to us in that way. Uh, give everybody here the help that they need. We thank you so much for protecting this place, keeping the sickness out. We ask you to bless the three or four of us that are in here. As uh, things start to turn again, as the world starts to come alive, so to speak, that you just continue to speak to people in the way that they need to hear it. Just pray that you just need the preachers. Be less green. You uh, need to be more kind. And the things that this world needs that we can provide. Thank you so much for your blessing and for your grace and for your mercy. We love you. Bless in Jesus' name. Thank you.
Lord, that changes the course of our life. Uh, helps us to go in the opposite direction to where we were going. Uh, we're now a new creature in Christ Jesus. Uh, we're not going the same old way. We're not with the same old crowd. Uh, we're not talking the same old way or dressing the same old way, acting the same old way. We're glad tonight uh, that you can transform the heart. Uh, the just can live by faith. Uh, and by faith we can pray through and find victory in our lives. Uh, Lord, we pray this evening to help Omar, oh God. Uh, that he'll play, pray clear through. Yes, 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 Lord, we yes, pray this yes, evening yes, that that will help him to have a desire and determination, dear Lord, uh, to be the man that God wants. Uh, Lord, we pray, help him, oh God, uh, to cast his lot with the saint. Uh, help him, dear Lord, we pray, to begin to walk the way with you. Uh, Lord, we pray tonight that you would bring peace to his heart. Rest, dear Lord. Uh, Father, you have said, through Jesus, come unto me, all you that labor, and are able to labor, and I'll give you rest and Lord we pray this evening to help me right now Lord uh, to find that rest in you uh, when we open the door and allow you to come in you sit down and have supper with us and we can have supper with you uh, we can have that fellowship that bond praise God remember uh, Lord we pray this evening to help oh Lord we we'll pray real deep dear Lord uh, all the things that are sinful the things dear Lord uh, that are there in his heart we pray help him to confess them out to you uh, until he finds peace dear Lord that passeth all understanding until he's brought out of darkness into marvelous light. Uh, until he becomes a new creature in Christ Jesus. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, deliver us in his washed away. Cast the sea of forgetfulness. Uh, to be remembered against him no more. Praise the Lord. Uh, to be cast as far as he, from him as the east is from the west. Uh, Lord, we pray this evening that will give him real victory. Uh, Total victory, dear Lord, tonight in you we ask. Lord, we just pray that that will help him. To help him to get on the old-fashioned way. To get on the straight and narrow way, dear Lord. Well, the Broadway is full of all kinds. But Lord, tonight there's a way. This was in a way, a secret way, dear Lord, that only you can reveal to those who come to you and bow down and repent. Lord, we pray tonight that that will help Omar to get on that thin, that, that narrow path, dear Lord, uh, and to walk with you through the valley, through the mountains, uh, through the heartaches, through the troubles, and through the joys that you bring day by day. Uh, Lord, we pray tonight, give him, dear Lord, that which he needs right now. Let the precious blood of Jesus uh, cover the sins, dear Lord. Uh, we pray, oh Lord, tonight that the blood would avail for him, we ask. Uh, we thank you tonight that you are the propitiation for our sins. Uh, praise the Lord, and not for ours only, but for the whole world. Hallelujah. Every man, every woman that's here tonight, dear Lord, uh, we're thankful that thy blood can avail for every one of them, Lord. Uh, we pray this evening that you reach down and help Omar, dear Lord, to find peace and rest, dear Lord, in you. Uh, Father, we are thankful tonight uh, that you're abundantly able to do uh, what nobody else can do, dear Jesus. Uh, thy word can come to our hearts and guide us straightway uh, into the path that you would have us to walk. Uh, Lord, we pray this evening help Omar, we ask. Uh, right now in Jesus' blessed name, uh, help him, dear Lord, uh, oh, to give himself to you yes. right now, Jesus. Uh, yes to many will find peace and rest uh, yes. and joy Thank in the you. Holy Ghost. Uh, we thank you this evening, dear Lord, uh, for what you're abundantly able to do. Help me, oh God, uh, find real victory this evening, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory to you. Gracias. Gracias. Ask him to forgive you for all your sins. Praise the Lord. Take you down to the depths. Get you on the straight and narrow way. Yes. Amen. Lord, I want to be the man of the hour. I want to be the man you are. Praise God. Amen. I want to serve you with all my heart, all my soul, all my strength. Glorious. My whole being, I want to serve you, dear Lord. Yes. Praise God. I want to have a testimony that I can speak out and that will ring true for you. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, son. Praise the Lord. Thank you. You're welcome. Praise the Lord. Thank you, stop. Praise the Lord. That's good. Stop. Stop. Hallelujah.
Yes. Yes. All right, the ushers are coming forward and we'll take the evening offering. And then Sister Rhonda is going to come and give us one last song tonight. Um, page 283, sorry, 283.
thank you all for your good singing tonight, and thank you for your giving. And now it's time to see what Brother Ledger has for us tonight. I know it's, it's got something for each one of us if we'll just take heart and listen and ask the Lord to open up our hearts and ears. So. Amen. What a day that will be. Brother Wooten, the day is getting closer every day. <laughs> it's getting closer every day. You know, I was thinking this evening, if that plane falls out of the sky, this would be the last time I ever speak to you all. But the more likely, it's more likely that we'll have an accident on the way to the airport than that the plane will fall out of the sky. I was wondering if Mr. Omar would like to give a word of testimony. Maybe you could interpret for him, Joe. What did God do for you? Who's? Yeah. Last night, I was turning off the lights. I was walking back to the shed. He was praying to God. He was in a lot of confusion. He struggled and said, Lord, I need a sign from you. Speaking to my heart, I see the sun, I see the stars, I see all this glory that you have, and where do I stand between me and you? He was calm for a little while. He started walking around the, the campus, checking out the stuff, you know, going forward back. My father died this morning. He was coming to turn the lights on. Oh, he came when get the keys. He was going back to get the keys to the next man. He was coming back this way. Uh -huh. This giant light at the orb flew right by him. And then right over past the woman's house. It didn't blow up, it just glittered like Second time you see that. I think I know what it is, but we're right to the pastor's house. Right there, he needed to give his life to the Lord. It's a piece of like a peaceful move. It was just a peace over him, a warm peace. Peaceful move. Amen. He was praying about the Lord for a while now. He's been doing this for a while, praying about that. No way. God spoke to his heart and said, You gotta give your life to me. But he couldn't understand because he had never heard the voice before. And he heard the voice again last night. You gotta give your heart to me. Give it to me. He shed his light right through past the snow. I was looking at the bottom of it. I forgot about it. So he just said, I want to get saved. Everything's changed. <clears throat> so I just want to thank God for that. And he was struggling for months with this. What did he do? What did God do for him this evening? Yeah, God, don't you want to see Oh, I feel different. Good. The peace and calm. Good. The storm is calm. Yeah. Good. 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 He was coming home on the bike from the doctor. He did about his medical condition. He forgot he was crossing over Roger Shoemaker. The cars had already taken off. And he wasn't conscious of it. The Lord sent a bird to hit him with some on the head. He stopped in the block. And the car just stopped right there in the moment. He came back and he was flushed. He went upstairs to Pastor Jerome and told him the experience he had. And he was just wanted to give his life right there. He said, my wife. He knew God was talking to him right then and there. There was no way he would have made a cross by the shoemaker. Before a car there was no way he would have made it. And the bird came back and deposited on him and woke up and stopped the bite. That's what that was the first time, and then that's what happened the second time. The guy had spoken to him. So I know he's in. I know it's real. Yeah, now he's more hungry, more conscious of the things of God. I think that he's seen that. Um, he used to be Catholic. He renounces that. He's looking at something greater. He's loving praying. 
He loved the Holy Spirit. He keeps asking me about the Holy Spirit. What does he do? Who is he? Does he live me? How do I know? No, so he has a lot of questions about God himself. And that's why I can tell him slowly, deposit into his life. Keep seeking God's presence. Keep seeking God's presence. All right. And the Lord has his way. Gracias. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you, God. God bless you. Thank you. I had an interesting experience today, too. I went down to the city and uh, got our parking variance uh, permit for, I think, the fourth time. And uh, they finally said, well, we're going to have the meeting and everything's good now, so uh, got to post the sign. So I went down, took the old sign off down, dropped it off, and picked up the new sign. And I was on my way back here, drove by 2nd Street, 2nd and Fowler on the corner. That's where the Fort Myers Rescue Mission was when I first came to the mission. And there was a parking spot right there in front of the old uh, building that used to be the church of the rescue mission. And there was a sign out front and said, coffee, come on in for free coffee. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, it was all fixed up. And I remember the building sat empty for years and years. And, and then uh, a pawn shop, or no, an uh, uh, um, antique shop was in there for a while. And so I parked the car and went in, and they had it all fixed up like a, like a little restaurant there, a place to hang out with surfboards all over the place. Not the internet kind, the real kind, you know. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and so uh, this gal was, this youngster, maybe in her 20s, was behind the counter, and I was talking to her, and um, I said, you know, I said, right over there, about 12 feet from your counter, on that cement floor, there used to be an altar because this was a church at one time. And that's the place where I met Jesus 41 years ago. And it was kind of, uh, kind of, I, I don't know how to describe it. How, how, after all these years, that spot on the floor is still there. Uh, they built a restaurant all the way around it, but um, it's still there. And I just want the Lord to know I really appreciate his gracious help over all these years. I haven't had to go back to the old life one single time. By his grace and help, I live for him every day. And I thank him for that today. Amen. So let's stand together, have a closing prayer. I'm to preach again on Sunday morning, so if we, if and when we get back from the upper north, we'll bring this message on Sunday morning. Amen. Father, thank you for your great grace and help. We appreciate your help for Omar tonight, and pray that you now go on and establish him in the grace of God. Grant each of us grace and help to please you. We're thankful for the water outside, but Lord, we need a refreshing gully washer in our hearts and pray you'd bring revival to Fort Myers Rescue Mission. And for all you do for all of us, we'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen.